This video is part of a series demonstrating the integration of motion control into TIA Portal as well as the new Synamics V90 drive. In this video, we will be looking at the motion control function blocks, which allow the technology object to interface with PLC code. We start by entering our project tree and adding a new block. We're using a function block and we're going to give it a name. The motion control blocks can be used like any other pre-built function block. We are putting them inside another function block to keep our project organised. Motion control blocks can be found in the technology section of the instruction list. There are many different blocks to carry out a variety of instructions and processes. Some CPUs have greater functionality than others. For instance, the brand new 1500T CPUs can create cams and complex gearing motions. We are using a standard CPU, so we have everything down to the MC gear in function available. The MC power block that we have just added is required to enable the drive for PLC control. In order to associate the block with the technology object, we simply drag the technology object onto the axis pin of the block. The definition of the pins can be found by pressing F1 with the block highlighted to open contextual help. The help page gives a description of how the block works, as well as telling you all the valid values that can be entered at a pin. We know from the help page that the enable pin must be held high for autonomous control of the drive. In order to be able to control this block, we're going to add a memory bit at the enable pin, which we can toggle to turn the power on and off. Common blocks for use with most applications include reset, which acknowledges alarms and reinitializes the technology object, home, which creates the relationship between the technology object and a mechanical position, halt, which acts as a stop command and breaks the axis till standstill, and move jog, which allows jogging of the axis. Just as with the power block, we associate these with the technology object by dropping it onto their axis pin. We're now going to call our function block in the main OB and create a piece of code to run it. For our purposes, this piece of code will simply enable the power block. When the power block is enabled, the drive will become active and with the default functionality will begin to hold the motor at standstill. Not all blocks require the enable pin to be held high to activate. In fact, most blocks only require a high edge to start their function. Once downloaded to the PLC, we can go online and view our code. This allows us to see the MC power block enabled in real time. The instant we toggle our enable bit and the MC power block becomes active, the drive will be powered up. On a new V90, the status of the drive can be viewed on the LEDs at the top of the display. When the drive is ready to run and comms have been established, the ready light will be red and the comms light will be green. When we take control of the drive with the MC power block, both lights will become green. All the functions we added and more can be found wrapped up in a pre-made block which is freely downloadable from the Siemens industry support site. There is also a block in the same library download which gives you a breakdown of the status word 